We often like to think of history as something contained in a museum's glass case, but we can't escape it. Our lives and ancestors always have kind of shaped the way that the world looks today. 7 News reporter Colin Roos was there as Ohio County students saw the way that their ancestors lived thanks to a large traveling trunk. Writing with fountain pens, playing jacks, and doing homework in chalk. You wouldn't catch modern day students doing any of those things in class, except when the Cockaine Farmstead comes to visit. A life of chores, but also of discipline. Going day to day with hardly any long distance communication, but one with a deep connection to nearby family. This is the picture Kara Gordon painted for students as she brought a 19th century Glendale life to the Corpus Christi classroom. As a site manager of the farmstead, she travels to area schools with a sampling of the tools that would have helped them navigate a less plugged in life, all inside a traveling trunk. It was developed following two years of planning and discussions with teachers. They said it was hard to bring kids to the farmstead, so we said, okay, well, could we bring stuff to you then and make it easier? Petticoats and buttoned up shoes, textbooks with tales of quaint domestic life, buckets for carrying water into faucetless homes, and even some knickknacks that made it into the lives of 20th century children. Usually, most of the kids will list, you know, no TV, no electricity, no video games under bad things. Um, but I had one girl one time who said, you know, if I didn't have TV or video games, I'd probably have a lot more time to spend on other things like art and music and playing with my friends. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it gives you something to think about, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> and even though they're 200 years removed from those days, the kids are captivated. They're given the opportunity to play with the antique toys and pass around the supplies purchased with a grant from the EQT Foundation. Sometimes you think, you know, especially older kids are not really going to get into it, but after the first few minutes they do, and um, that's why I try and make it about everyday life, something that people can relate to, so that it's not boring. It's something they can, they can connect to. And that scene was all set without the aid of screens or movies, just face-to-face -face storytelling and a few simple playthings, just the way it would have been done in the days of wooden desks and long wool stockings. That covers the 19th century traveling trunk, but the Cockaine House has also invested in one covering World War II. Now that one contains a military jacket along with a typewriter that kids who may have never even seen one can play with. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.